Okay, thank you so much. Uh, so can I to stand here? A lot of uh, old friends, but we just met people on internet. So this is the first time face to face. Um, we have six experts share a lot of our application about Haifu. So I just just gave um, a simple overview of our application of Haifu and uh, share the training experience in China. Uh, because I think most of us will stay together for the next two weeks. So here is my speech. Uh, we all know that the surgery uh, in Luxembourg for almost 200 years uh, from the traditional open surgery to laparoscopic surgery and to high full. We can see the difference. We can see the difference is very big here. Uh, for, first, we can see the skin. The skin condition is so, so different. For traditional open surgery, we can see a big scars on the skin. And uh, for the laparoscopic surgery, there are small holes. But for high full, the skin, the abdominal wall is very smooth. But for the users, for the organs, the damage, the mental the myomectomy or laparoscopy surgery, surgery, the scars, the damage to the uterus is very big. But for high full, the uterus is totally no damage here. The principle of high full have talked about before, so I don't talk to uh, talk it here. Uh, for the high treatments, the uh, most characteristic is that is uh, the three D dimensional, and we can just move move the transducer and the six point six focus point to the target region and cause and uh, increase the temperature and cause the tissue necrosis. So I will talk about uh, the most of the application about high school. The first case, the first case we treated is in 1997. Uh, is a 10 year old boy with osteocarcinoma. We can see here is the before high school and after high school, we can see uh, here is different. So now the hive knife makes up from Tong Qing was uh, used uh, over the worldwide and are about 30 countries here. And for the application of hive, we can see the, the indications we can describe just like this. The first one is benign and malignant tumor. And the second is stony tumor. So that means we can do all these stony tumors, no matter is benign or malignant. So uh, now we use this technique in uterus, breast, liver, pancreas, kidney, bones of tissues, and others. For kinetology, is the most uh, we use is most wide now. Uh, we can trace fibers and masses, placenta and creta, CST and so on. So first I will talk about the high fibrillation for liver. Uh, totally we can describe just this like this. We can treat primary liver cancer, that means HCC. And also we can treat metastatic liver cancer. So for primary liver cancer, we can treat the uh, local lateral treatment for small liver cancer, we can treat this. And from for the bigger one, for the bigger one, for the big HCC, we can combine with this. And for the metastatic liver, we can especially treat the, the little implant liver cancer. This is a, uh, a great advantage of this, uh, this, one, this technique. And also we can treat other metastatic liver cancer here. So the advantages of high treat for liver cancer is that we can treat the cancer in difficult position and the cancer liver main blood vessels. And we can also treat tumors in pathway. Treat multiple days at one time. Uh, Professor Harvey just showed 
as a lot of excellent cases here. And also we can treat the patient repeatedly. So for the indications, uh, divided from our treatment purpose, we can treat it, uh, we can divide it into curative treatment and palliative treatment here. So this case we just saw he saw before. Uh, three years, there is no tumor here. And for the metastatic, especially have multiple uh, targets here, we can treat it. So we have published, we have a lot of research before uh, for the tumors adjacent to the major blood vessel and also in different, in difficult locations. So for example, just like this one, this is a very big tumor here. And uh, we can see it's, very, uh, it's big and masculine. So before high school, we combined with this. And after this, we can see there's still some tissues with contrast on MRI. And then after this, we combined with high school. We can see all of it, all of the tumors that are related. Uh, and this is a 52 year old patient with liver cancer. And before high flu, before high flu, he, he took three times of the, um, the uh, sorry, treatment, but because the tumor is close to IVC, so it's very, there is some, some tumor, some tumor tissue still here. So we gave him high flu ablation. We can see the blood vessel is very, uh, is very complete. And this one, uh, Ham just showed us. And also, we can treat the metastatic uh, uh, liver cancer, where they, uh, they can't for the section where we do first ablation. So we have a good uh, results here. And for this, for this one is our metastatic uh, liver cancer with two big tumor on the left liver and the right one. And after this, two weeks after high food. So other indication, other application is uh, for pancreatic cancer. So the purpose of high treatment is to relieve clinic symptoms and improve the quality of life. And the second purpose is to reduce tumor load and increase chemotherapy sensitivity. And the third purpose is to reduce tumor stage and maybe we can create conditions for radical surgery. So this is the RRE research from Professor Wu Feng. So that's a uh, uh, improves that type is safe and available method for the treatment of advanced pancreatic cancer. And this research is from Korea studies. And uh, this is for stage three and the stage four cancer, we can see this is uh, uh, safety and, incre uh, and uh, increase the quality of life and uh, the limit ratio. For these two cases is from this article, and uh, the pancreas cancer, two of this one is around all around the with vessels. So, but we can trace it and have a good results. We all know that uh, for cancers, for cancers, we need to make MDT. So sometimes the pancreas cancer is not sensitive to chemo or radio therapy, but we can combine the combined with the surrounding area chemo and the waste high food. And we can see uh, this combined treatment can relieve the pain very uh, immediately, immediately after high food. So this is very good for the advanced, advanced pancreas cancer. And this is a research from Bonn, University of Bonn for the for the advanced, advanced stage pancreas cancer. And we can see this. This is the volume of the cancer. Of the cancer is three kids from uh, during our follow-up. One week, six weeks, and three months, and six months, we can see this 
Never stage three or stage four. The volume shrinkage very, uh, very, very good. And this is for the pain relief. For the pain relief, we can say uh, almost 50% of patients in the, in after six months, after six months for now, they don't need any pain kill killer. And this is a safety as your patients that he couldn't tolerate surgery or chemotherapy. We can see before the first time, before high food, there is the, the tumor here, and here is one day after. And we can see the, uh, and the six months after, we can see that the tumor go a little gross, and also the C919 uh, was increased. So we give her give him a secondary high full treatment here, and we can see the we can see this uh C nine one one nine decreased very fast. So that means that means we can use this technology for the treat for the kidney treatment for the cancer. And pain score, the pain cleaner, we can see this after high four. We know this uh, for advanced advanced pancreas, uh, pancreatic cancer patients, always very has, has serious pain. But after high four, we can see the score decreased. Before high four is 4.49, 4, and uh, one week later, it's only 2.65. So it's very impressive. And this is one of the patients uh, from our uh, from from Chongqing. Uh, she is a six one year, uh, six one, 61 years old female, and her her cancer just recurred, recurred seven months after surgery, and for so she came back. She came back, and we gave her high full combined chemotherapy, and we can we follow up. Uh, for this is uh, during the high treatments, during high treatments, and for this patient, she lived uh, the survival time after high was twenty four months, and the cognitive sur uh, survival time after diagnosis was thirty two months. For bone tumor, we can trace primary and metastasis. So for this one is a 21 year old man with osteocasoma. And uh, this is before high school, we can see, we can see here is uh, the abnormal area. And the 24, uh, 24 months, 24 months, we can see here, show the repair of the bone tissue. And uh, this one is the 18 year old women with uh, for underwent uh, for underwent high full treatments. And uh, this is before we can see the tumors all around and two, two weeks, two weeks later, three weeks later. Also, we can treat metastatic bone cancer here. I can say before high full, before high full, and after high full. And high full ablation for breast, we can treat breast cancer and the breast fib uh, fibroma, especially for multiple one and the small one. Uh, this is a contrast MRI for our 39 year old patients. Here is before high full, here is before high full, and this is after high full. Two weeks. Uh, we also have published a lot of research in our time and uh, show that high food treatment for the breast cancer is feasibility and uh, safety. High food, high food ablation for caviar also are very good indication. Uh, for this patient, uh, uh, he only had one kidney, but here uh, is also, um, we can see the tumors here and after high food, there is no, uh, there is no blood supply here. For this patient, has two, two, uh, the tumor occurred on occurred to in two kidneys. So we treated with treated with high for one by one. 
And from China, we have seen some clinic trials here. For this one is from Suining. Uh, we they treated the recurrence of cancer and the metastatic pelvic tumors. We know that the recurrence of cancer is always uh, most of the patients are not so sensitive for camera surgery. Well, it's not a uh, have no conditions to surgery. So we combined with HIFU. We just uh, check the solid part and we combined with HIMO. So we, we found that uh, uh, the, <coughs> the tumor just shrinkage and uh, the pelvic, the pain is relieved. And this one is the first, uh, first one, first uh, uh, one for the recurrent cervix cancer. We treated in September, Professor Chen Wenzi, just uh, before, uh, for this patient, we just gave her half treatments before surgery. And uh, after half three days after half, we just uh, do some surgery. And this is uh, improved. Improve the uh, this is just decrease the bleeding and shorten the surgery time. So this is my first one. This is the first one. Okay, we talk about the for the benign. Okay, uh, there is the uterine fibers. So what kind of uterine fibers we can treat? We can talk about this in two sides. The first one is uh, we talked about the technical indications. That means we can see the we can see the nails, we can see the fibers on the ultrasound therapy very clearly. And the second one is then there is a safe acoustic pathway. This is the technical indications. And the second one we talk about the clinic indications. So the patients with clinic symptoms, we can treat this. I think there is no doubt. And for, but we know from our clinic, from our clinic work, we meet a lot of patients, maybe they don't have any clinic symptoms, but they with strong treatment intention will have serious psychological failure. So for these kinds of patients, we can treat. So also, the uterine fibers, the high treatment for uterine fibers have uh, got into a lot of international guidelines here. So I'll show you the, some cases about the evaluation after high treatment. For this one is, um, uh, for this one here, we can see the uterus, uh, you, the fibers is just uh, in the post wall and two weeks, Two weeks after high we can know there is no blood supply here. And the four point five months, the uterus just shrinkage and the ten months is more smaller. Okay. And for this is another one, almost six centimeter about the fibers and before high four and uh, during our follow up time, eight months later, eight months later we only uh, we see only our little bump here, so the uterus is almost is almost normal. So maybe we uh, for the uh, thick one, for the big one, maybe for our doctors, it's very simple to do surgery or do myelectomy. But for this one, this candle, we can see much one or not.